All right, Airlaws Live coming to you from Southern California here. Happy Monday. It's 428 in the afternoon. It's, of course, February 4th, 2019. All right, uh, news. Uh, El Chapo, drug kingpin from Mexico, uh, all over the news. He's uh, having a trial right now. Uh, here it is. Jur jurors are expected to begin deliberating uh, today after weeks of testimony that included a parade of Guzman's former associates who told of massive bribes. I thought this was very interesting. Because if the Mexican government has been bribed by hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, to do whatever the drug cartels want, the drug cartels want, uh, is that just Mexico? Or is the politicians in the U.S. being bribed as well? Of course they are, Bob. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, NBCNews.com. I'll read from it here in a moment. Uh, again, here's one, Time.com. It's all over the interesting uh, headlines from the news, I mean. All over the internet. Uh, here's one. Betrayals. A hundred million dollar bribery. hundred million. Uh, and then seven biggest bombshells from the El Chapo's trial. That's from time.com. Here's another one. Uh, here's one from WGNO.com. El Chapo Guzman associate claims Kingpin paid a hundred million bribe to former Mexican president. <laughs> if it's happening in Mexico, it's happening in the U.S., right? It's happening. Of course it is. All right, let me read from NBCNews.com. You know, the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. Not some evil, all evil. And why? you got to connect these pieces together. Why would Trump have so much trouble with the Republicans and Democrats for the last two years if the politicians in the U.S. weren't on the take? Yeah. If the U.S. politicians are being bribed by these cartels in and, and around, in the U.S. and around the world, I mean, money is just flowing through their hands, millions and billions of dollars. You don't think the politicians in, the, in Mexico are the only ones that are being bribed? Oh, I think this is the heart of the problem that plagues Trump's uh, uh, forwardness or trying to go forward. Trump's trying to bring the U.S. On a, on a narrow road that goes forward. But the politicians, not just in Mexico, but the U.S. are on the take. If it's not the Bill Clinton Foundation, it's the, it's the Obama Nation, Barack Obama Foundation, and, uh, and, and, and money that's flowing like water into these people's lives. The Clintons, the Bushes, uh, uh, the Obamas. I mean, on 9-11, you see the Bush family having a meeting uh, with these crooks from Saudi Arabia, the Bin Laden family. And the only plane that apparently got out of the U.S. on a no-fly zone day on 9-11, 2001, was the Bin Laden. The Bin Laden family plane. Yeah, you know Osama Bin Laden's family? Yeah, what, what were the Bushes doing having a meeting with the Bin Laden family? On 9-11, right? I mean, all these politicians are on the take. That's why they don't like Trump, because Trump is not uh, wanting their bribes. Hey, I'll give you a million dollars. I don't need it. I'll give you 10 million. I don't need it. I don't even need your salary. Don't, I don't, I don't, it's not, Trump's not even taking a salary. All right, what was the name for Barack Obama's uh, wife's name? Michelle, a.k.a. Michael. Uh, her name was Mooch because these politicians are mooches. The Clintons, the Bushes, uh, ripped off Haiti by what? Billions of dollars. Sure. And now, and this just reminds me, when I read articles like that, uh, like this that's going on right now, El Chapo trial, shows how rampant systemic corruption impedes the drug war. Not this, the drug, forget about the drug war. There's never been a war on drugs. There's never, what are you talking about? There's never been a war on drugs. Now the Vatican really drives the cartels around the world using different governments that are on the Vatican side. The Vatican runs the New World Order. There's never really been a war on drugs. There's just been a hiding of drugs by governments around the world that are in the pocket of the Vatican. Jurors are expected to begin deliberating Monday after weeks of testimony. All right. I, I just think we got to just, hey, think about this. People are wondering why. It's not about the wall. It's not about the wall. The Democrats wanted a wall just a, a short time ago. And if the wall was so immoral, Nancy Pelosi, why aren't you talking about Israel? Israel's building a wall today. Israel's got hundreds of walls in and around uh, Israel, Jerusalem, the Gaza Strip. Nobody ever talks about the immoral walls going up in Israel or any other country for that matter. 
In the same Brooklyn courthouse where jurors have heard testimony about Mexican politicians protecting Joaquin El Chapo Guzman's drug empire. <clears throat> it's not really his drug empire, it's the Vatican, really. In the, book of, in the book of Revelation, it states that the drug uh, cartels uh, will actually be run by the Vatican in the last days. Sure. The drug cartels, yeah. Witchcraft and drugs. Satan worship, Satan worship, Lucifer worship, devil worship and drugs. Oh, sure. What do you, you think is going on in the New World Order? Sure it is. It says here... Uh, a former Mexican state attorney general pleaded guilty last month to taking bribes from narcotic traffickers. Mexican state attorney. Oh, yeah. It's a recurring theme of this El Chapo or Guzman's New York trial, which is going on right now. I think it only took 30 minutes for the defense today. How persuasive official corruption in Mexico, I'll say in the U.S. also, complicates American authorities. <laughs> to investigate and apprehend those involved in the drug trade. Yeah, because it's a worldwide, including the U.S. It's not, oh, Mexican drug cartels. It's U.S. drug cartels that work in conjunction with Mexican cartels, working with the CIA, right? And all the other agencies, yeah. How, pers how pervasive official corruption is in Mexico and the U.S. as well. And this is a Mexican, former Mexican president, and... U.S. presidents. Oh, sure it is. Jurors are expected to begin deliberating today after 11 weeks of testimony, including a parade of Guzman's former associates who told of massive bribes paid to high-level officials. Where? Oh, that's just in Mexico. You believe that? <laughs> One testified that the Sinaloa cartel paid $10 million twice to a, to a top commander in the Mexican Federal Police. That's $20 million bucks. Others said Mexico's former federal security chief got six million payoff, while a uh, general got a hundred thousand. I mean, that's dollars, right? So you're looking at uh, living high off the hog in Mexico. Yeah, sure. Witnesses testified about Guzman getting a police escort. So El Chapo got a police escort after a prison escape, and politicians who asked for help shipping a hundred tons of cocaine in an oil tanker. <laughs> so the drug pin, pin, uh, yeah. Uh, who leads the cartels, is getting, uh, you know, top rate. He's supposed to be in jail, yet he's getting top rated uh, service and, you know, probably eating steaks, yeah. Oh, he's got a police escort. Oh, yeah. And then politicians, oh, please help us ship 100 tons of cocaine in an oil tanker to the U.S., the most sensational claim one of Guzman's former aides said he'd heard him boast about having paid former Mexican president Enrique Peña Nieto $100 million. $100 million. Wow. Now you understand. I think Pelosi's on the take. Schumer's on the take. The Democrats and a lot of the Republicans are on the take. Sure they are. That's why they don't like Trump, because Trump is not on the take. Trump doesn't want their money. I'll give you a mansion in, uh, in Florida. He already has one. I'll give you a penthouse and a, and a beautiful mansion in New York. He already has one. <laughs> the accused Mexican leaders have all denied all oh, the bribery allegations. I hope this opens up all the way into the U.S. Sure. As the fabrications of criminals. Oh, it's, a fabri it's just a fabrication. The corruption allegations have been mostly a sideshow on the trial of Guzman. I don't think so. I think it needs to be. It's mainstream. Guzman El Chapo is charged with leading a cartel that smuggled tons of co cocaine to the U.S., into the U.S. Still happening right now. These articles are stating that El Chapo is actually not the leader. Of course he's not the leader. The U.S. government is really the leading uh, uh, factor in all these drugs trafficking yeah, in the U.S. and around the world. Sure. What person will not take $10 million to look the other way? What person will not take $100 million to look the other way? What president? Sure. You think that politicians go into office because they want to serve their country? <laughs> oh, it's fame, it's fortune, right? It's power. And you give a, you give a Mexican president or a U.S. president $100 million. You think they're going to do the right thing? Oh, no, they're not. It's very, very difficult to cause a person to do the right thing uh, with $100 million underneath their nose. That's why most U.S. politicians, 
The U.S. Congress is corrupt the same way the Mexican government is corrupt. Oh, yeah. If you don't, if you don't know that, then you're very naive on purpose. Yeah. Willfully ignorant. The accused Mexican leaders have all denied the bribery allegations. Oh, it's just fabrication. Corruption allegations have been mostly assigned to it. No, it's not. Who's in charge with the leading cartel? Who is charged with leading, I mean, a cartel that smuggled tons of cocaine to the U.S.? His lawyers have said that he was not the... See, the lawyer said he's not the real boss. And that's true. And that its, it's true head is still at large in Mexico. How about the Vatican? Protected by a web of bribes and lies and corruption. Sure. You know, if you start taking down Hillary Clinton, <clears throat> you take down most of the U.S. government. If you want, if you, if you, well, if people are wondering why Hillary Clinton has, hasn't been indicted and thrown in jail yet. Because she would bring down most of the U.S. government. Because you, most of the U.S. government and former presidents have been involved and in bed with the Clintons and are just as corrupt. Yeah. That's why they only want to waste their time going after Trump. Since Trump's not in bed with them, then he's an easy target to just focus all their energy at. And they know that taking down Trump won't take down them. At least they're trying to, right? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I just ran a marathon yesterday. And my throat's a little scratchy. Uh, let me skip down here for time's sake. Uh, underscoring the risk of sharing information with Mexican law enforcement. Several months ago, former Mexican intelli intelligence unit com commander was sentenced to three years in a U.S. federal prison for leaking American investigative secrets to cartel bosses. See, it's just it's a sip. Last month, uh, Edgar Vetaya Vatia. The former attorney general, oh, oh, nothing to see there, of the Mexican coastal state of Nayarit, is also known as Diablo, admitted to using his badge, oh, to help drug trafficking organizations smuggle narcotics into the U.S. Of course they are, according to the Justice Department. The Justice Department, they should be called the Injustice Department. Mike Vigil, who was a, who was a U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration agent for many years, said not even Mexico's military or federal police will work with authorities at the state and municipal level due to the cancerous uh, uh, propensity, right? Their weakness for being on the take. They're all on the take. And, and uh, Mexico's military and federal police, they're all in on it. Or they know they're going to die. So you either die or you take the money. Look the other way. Yeah. <clears throat> Quote, they are squarely in the pockets of the drug cartels. Duh. To the point that they engage in the smuggling and transportation of drugs and the killing of cartel enemies. Of course they do. <clears throat> if you can't work with them, it, it uh, makes it really hard to carry out some of the missions. But during the trial, jurors heard testimony about one successful partnership between U.S. and Mexican authorities. The operation that led to Guzman's capture in 2014 after he escaped from a Mexican prison for the second time. What? Oh. Why would the U.S. even be involved with this? Well, they're bringing drugs in here. Yeah, but why, why, why doesn't Mexico take care of it? Well, they're too corrupt. Well, the U.S. is not too corrupt. You know, Guzman, uh, El Chapo, must have did something to tick off the Vatican, the CIA. Yeah. Because they, they, if they're going to string out their own guys that they use and throw them under the bus, the guy must have did something, must have double-crossed them somehow. DEA operations are restricted in foreign countries. That's bull. That's just the cover story. But the agency tra uh, trains vetted units. Oh, vetted units of Mexican federal police officers to conduct American-led operations. Oh, we control your country through vetted units of Mexican federal police officers. Yeah, you work for us. <laughs> American-led operations in Mexico. Everybody knows. It's in, it's in, it's in every movie. <clears throat> Who really does control Mexico? And then who really controls the U.S. government? Cha-ching, cha-ching. Members of the units are subject to polygraph exams. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. D.A. Victor Vasquez. Vasquez told jurors he would only work with the Mexican Marines when trying to capture Guzman and other leaders of the Sinaloa. And other leaders of the Sinaloa cartel, because that wing of the armed forces is views, viewed as less susceptible to corruption. It doesn't say they're, oh, less susceptible. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
justified that the, that the Marines operated from a base outside Mexican Sinaloa region because the assumption was everybody there, including the police, were, on the, were eyes for the cartel. Everybody's working on it. Because you're driving around in the lion's den and you really can't trust anybody. <clears throat> yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Guzman's lawyers have also denied that he paid off Pine uh, Pina Nieto, that's former president. But nevertheless have called the Mexican government crooked. <laughs> During the trial, U.S. prosecutors sought to limit testimony about the alleged bribes to Mexican officials. Why? Citing the uh, the potential to harm relations between the two countries. Oh, relations. They don't care about relations. They don't want to be uh, uh, outed themselves. So the U.S. prosecutors, oh, no, no, don't tell, don't tell us everything in the court. <laughs> you chickens. Because they're all corrupt. Sure they are. Oh, sign the potential to harm relations between the two countries. Oh, 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 oh. Mexico got a new president while the trial was underway who has vowed to make battling corruption a central part of his administration. Sure. He is. <laughs> you don't become president of Mexico unless you're corrupt. In my humble estimation, yeah. Unless it's a miracle like a Trump presidency. You know, Trump had the money to, to beat the system. <clears throat> and the Lord's help, of course, number one. Yeah. Time's sake, it says, well, corruption is widespread. Geronimo Cortina, associate director of the Center for Mexican American Studies at the University of Houston, said testimonies from drug traffickers, drug traffickers should be taken with a grain of salt. Oh, we shouldn't believe them. We should believe the politicians instead. <laughs> if Guzman, they're trying to laugh at it. If Guzman really paid a $100 million bribe, Cortina said it was a bad business decision considering he was nevertheless extradited to the U.S. <laughs> well, he didn't. They're not denying it. If really, so they're not denying it. If he did, did pay $100 million to the Mexican president. So if the, if the Mexican presidents are corrupt by the cartels, and, the, and if the Mexican presidents are corrupt, and the American presidents and politicians are corrupt by money coming from the cartels, I mean, there's boatloads and boatloads and tanker loads and, and uh, you, you name it. I mean... Warehouses full of money and gold and silver, yeah. To the corrupt politicians in Mexico, the U.S., ISIS, this is how they run ISIS. Oh, yeah, if you, if, you, if you study ISIS, you can see that these same people run ISIS the same way. Oh, yeah, I mean, what's the difference? Paid mercenaries in the Middle East or paid mercenaries in the, in the U.S. or paid mercenaries in Mexico? <laughs> paid politicians? You don't think the U.S. politicians are on the take? Sure they are. <laughs> no? Yes. <laughs> so, Daryl, that's all bad news. Well, not really. <clears throat> Why? Well, because we can pray. And we can bypass the fake news. I mean, I saw the Pope today coming out uh, online stating that uh, he wants to, you know, help the world not go after fake news. The leader of the Vatican, the false prophet, Pope Francis, is telling the world to be careful of fake news. And he puts out the fake news. He runs the fake news media around the world. <laughs> if you look at Revelation 18, 23, <clears throat> uh, it says the light of the, it's talking about the Vatican, and the light of the lamp will never shine in you again. The happy voice of brides and grooms will never be heard in you again. Your merchants, your merchants, your uh, drug cartels, sure. Cha-ching, or the greatest in the world. And you deceive the nations with your sorceries. If you look up the word sorceries, it means drugs. Yeah, it's the Greek word, Revelation 18.23 for sorceries. Pharmakia, P-H-A-R-M-A-K-E-I-A. Drugs, medication. So let's read it this way. Let's talk about the Vatican, not Revelation 18, the Vatican. For the Vatican's merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy medications or drugs were all nations deceived. 
<laughs> and then, and in her in the Vatican and by her was found the blood of the prophets and the saints and all and of all that were killed upon the earth slain. See these bodies that are hanging up under bridges and, you know, all across Mexico. And they're, oh, that's the cell of cartel. That, 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 that's Mexico. And then you see them coming back and forth across the Mexican-U.S. border. You know, I mean, you have a hundred million dollars, a billion dollars. You can build what can you? You can fly things over. You can go underneath. It's not the wall that's really a threat. It's the Trump presidency. It's not the wall that's a th really a threat. It's the Trump presidency. And really, the wall will not stop these cartels. So what's the big deal? <clears throat> well, Trump's not part of their package deal. And Trump's watching them a lot more. And they can't get away with what they used to get away with over the border. It's not really the wall or the walls. They don't want Trump to be reelected in 2020 because he's, he's hurting their big scenario plan. Of course it's drugs. Of course it's uh, the uh, gun trafficking. Of course it's human trafficking and the pedophile network. Yeah, of course it is. It's all of the above. And Trump is finding out about what they're doing. Every day, every week, every month. He, Trump even said about his intelligence agencies. Uh, and I, don't, I don't agree with that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a live one here. Sure. And I'm saying, when I'm reading these articles on El Chapo, the drug kingpin, who's been caught and is having a trial right now. Uh, bingo. It's not just Mexico. All right. The New York trial that's going on right now. It's, it's, this is, that's why the U.S. prosecutors don't want the information getting out. Because the information is not just that the former Mexican president was on the take for hundreds of millions of dollars, but it's also American politicians everywhere. U.S. Congress that's on the take. We can pray, get the information out, and pray that Trump has an another two prosperous years as U.S. president. Here's my cat. <laughs> Looking for <laughs> corruption. <laughs> Another two years of Donald Trump and another four years after that of Donald Trump. That would be the best thing that happened to the U.S. and against the New World Order. Yeah. Why? Because Trump is really hurting their trafficking in all their areas, including their medications or pharmacia or sorceries. I love the fact that uh, the old English King James Version says sorceries because it's 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 it it brings in the black arts. It brings in the demonic Luciferian side to this. Yeah, it adds uh, medications, drugs, and witchcraft, which is exactly what the Vatican pet pedals around the world. And if you think that the U.S. politicians aren't in on this, then you are dumb as a hammer. Let's pray, Father. We know what's going on. This is a two thousand year old Bible verse. <clears throat> For by their sorceries, by their drug trafficking, were all the nations deceived. We pray that uh, Trump would be uh, have another two years of, of uh, prosperity and protection, and that he would get reelected. <laughs> Our humble prayers, Lord, not just for the U.S., but for Mexico's sake and for the world's sake. So that the uh, mystery Babylon, the whore of Babylon, would get her butt kicked. Oh, the fall of Babylon. Revelation 18, 2, that he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great has fallen, has fallen, become the habitation of devils. Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. For all nations, Revelation 18, 3, have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, her dealings. The merchants of the earth, the politicians included, the banking system, are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. What uh, Revelation 18, 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Right? Yeah. Trump's not part of them. He's separate from them. That you don't partake of her sins and don't receive of her plagues. For her sin and this drug trafficking, human trafficking, have reached unto heaven. And God has remembered her iniquities, the Vatican's new world order. Reward her even 
as she has re reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to the works of her a wrath against her. Yeah. How much the Vatican, the New World, glor glorifies themselves. Live deliciously. $100 million bribes here and there. Who wants $100 million? So much torment and sorrow. Give her. For she says in her heart, and these politicians and these greedy uh, uh, presidents, Oh, I shall see no sorrow. I sit like a queen or a king. Therefore her plagues. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning and famine. And she'll be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord who judges her. Lord judge Babylon. For the sake of the nations. Amen. Every day. Let the stuff come out that needs to come out. In Jesus' name by your spirit. And bless Trump, his family, and let him get in for another four years after this term's over. Do your mighty work on the earth, Lord. By your spirit every day, in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, if you're not born again, spirit filled, get born again, spirit filled. Jesus washed my sins away, filled with the Holy Spirit. Get in the Bible, read it, and do it. Start in the New Testament, and then do it. Don't just read it, do it. And then watch my videos, DarylLawson.com. I have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of videos that I've done. The links are there. The information's there. DarylLawson.com or DarylLawsonLive.com. Same website. All right, I'm out of here. Pass the video to other people. I'm just saying, when I read this about the New York trial of El Chapo, drug cartels, it's not just Mexico. It's the U.S. It's Canada. It's the nations. If you don't think the Prime Minister of Canada is on, in on this, take sure he is. <laughs> so the media hates Trump. Why? Justin Trudeau. Uh, why? Because Trump's not taking their bribes. Won't even take a salary. We are seeing history in the making. All right? Be on the right side, my friend. Be on the Lord's side. Get born again. Get spirit-filled. Stay born again. Stay spirit-filled. Pass it to other people. Thanks for your prayers and financial support. I'll see you later. God bless you. DearLawson.com. Bye for now.